really struggled with. I would always tell myself, I'm not happy because I'm going to be happy once I get to a certain point. We're having a fantastic day. Today's video is about happiness and optimism. And in today's video, I wanna share with you guys eight daily habits that when I implement in my own life, I definitely feel happier, I feel more optimistic. I am by no means perfect or happy all the time, not at all. But over the past few years, I have started to notice what habits I can implement that make me feel just more content, happier, better about myself and all of those positive emotions. Some of these I have just sort of noticed randomly. Some of them I have read about and tried implementing them. But anyways, let's get into those eight daily habits that you can try out. Number one is to get outside. For me, a really, really great way to start the day is getting outside as soon as possible. I feel like there is a correlation between how long it takes me to get outdoors and how happy I am for the day. I feel like getting outside and enjoying the weather and the nature is just so good for your overall happiness. And bonus points if you are like me and you have a dog because I find taking my dog for a walk outside is just such a mood booster and I feel instantly happier. Number two is to read and learn. I am a huge self-improvement junkie. You guys obviously know that about me. Reading and learning makes me so just happy and excited about life. I love gaining the knowledge of others through books. And as much as I enjoy learning and reading, I feel like I don't always have time to sit down and crack open a book. So I've been really enjoying this app called Blinkist. It is definitely my favorite app at the moment. This video is in partnership with Blinkist. So Blinkist is an incredible app that transforms the key insights from over 2,000 nonfiction books into short packs that you can listen to or read in under 15 minutes. So if you want to read every day, if you want to learn and improve yourself, but you don't have a lot of time, this is a great way to do it because you can put in your headphones, you can put it on your speaker in your house and listen and learn. So I'm going to open the app and show you guys how this works. Right now I am listening to How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I have been wanting to get around to reading this book for so long. I've been putting it off, but finally I can get the insights through this app. So when you sign up, which by the way, you can sign up and get a seven day free trial in the description box down below, you'll go to the discover page and you can see they have books selected that they think you would like based on your interests, as well as other curated reading lists, as well as what's trending, what's new. You can also check the categories. So if you're into health and fitness, science, history, they have it all organized for for you. Okay, so here I just found um, Finding My Virginity by Richard Branson. I've actually been wanting to read this book. I follow him on Twitter and I see him tweeting about it all the time. So I open it up and you can see I can either read or listen, um, but I'm not gonna work on this one right now because I wanna finish How to Win Friends and Influence People first. So I can hit this little plus sign and that adds it to my library. So to get to your library, you click right there and you can see what I am listening to and reading right now. So check them out. You can sign up for the free trial and after that it is paid either annually or monthly, but I do really think that it is worth it because working on yourself, learning, constantly improving is so critical just to personal development and widening your horizons. Okay, and number three, the third thing that I try really hard to do on a daily basis to keep myself happy, to keep myself feeling really good, Good. It's simple, but it is just to talk to people. I feel like sometimes, especially because I work mostly out of my house, it's very easy to be in this bubble and I can go extended periods without really talking to many people other than my husband. So I try to engage with the people around me, make small talk with my neighbors. If I go to the grocery store, asking the cashier how they're doing and just all that kind of talk and communicating with people other than just kind of transactional, but caring, making an effort and showing people that I am interested in them and how they are doing, I find makes me happier in return. So when I'm sitting at home and I hear the mail gets delivered, I try always to say, oh, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well. How is this going? How is that going? So I find that that makes the mailman happier, makes him smile, and it makes me feel good in return. So just talking to people and genuinely caring about others definitely makes me happier and I'm sure it would cheer you up as well. Fourth thing that is super important to my personal happiness, guys, is getting enough 
sleep. I am one of those people, I need eight hours of sleep. Otherwise, I find that my mental state for the day just is not where it should be. So I always try to get to bed early and I need at least eight hours. Sleep is really important. A lot of people praise this 24 seven thing, no sleep thing, but I really think it is essential to get enough sleep. My fifth habit for happiness is just to focus on myself which sounds kind of selfish, but let me explain what I mean by focusing on yourself. When you focus on all the people around you, what they're doing, whether that's what they're doing wrong or what they're doing that you are jealous of, I find that that personally affects me a lot and it really brings me down and I don't feel as happy as when I just kind of drowned it out, focus on myself, my own issues, my own life. I guess this kind of goes along with the whole FOMO thing, fear of missing out. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't get FOMO about about all the things you see on social media, what your friends are doing or acquaintances. Focus on yourself, your life, your goals, and don't let jealousy or other people's moods and feelings affect you, affect you too much. I know it is a difficult thing. This is probably the thing I struggle with the most. My sixth daily habit for happiness is to not delay happiness. This used to be something that I really, really struggled with. I would always tell myself, I'm not happy because I'm going to be happy once I get to a certain point. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. You are delaying happiness. You're saying, I'm not gonna be happy until I get out of this job and get a new one, or I'm not gonna be happy until I make more money. And you might not explicitly say, I'm not going to be happy, but there's that thing in your mind that's kind of holding you back from just being content and being happy, being in love with your life. All throughout your life, things are gonna change, things are gonna develop, and there will always be an excuse to delay your happiness and to delay just being content with your life. And I have noticed with a lot of people that I know, no matter what situation they were in, they were happy and that happiness kind of radiated and allowed them to get to those next steps. Number seven is to exercise. Now I'm completely guilty. I do not exercise every single day, but I'm putting this out there to inspire myself to exercise more. Obviously exercise is so good for you. It is so good for your mental health and overall happiness. Almost every single super successful happy person that I know exercises a lot. It's a great way just to reduce stress and you always feel better after exercising. Even if you just go on a walk, if you have problems, if you have issues, if you go outside, go on a 20 minute walk, you're almost always going to feel better. Number eight, last thing I try to do daily is just take care of myself. So self care. So these can be little things, you guys. I like to do my nails. I like to put on a face mask, do a nice, you know, hair mask and just take care of my physical appearance, take care of like my clothing, things that I love, you know, clean out my purse and my favorite items and just taking care of myself and items that I love, maintaining, nourishing and caring for myself and the things around me and my environment really makes me feel so much better. And I do want to point out you guys that I'm completely aware of mental illness and I'm not saying that this will work for people that struggle with depression and anxiety and mental health issues. These are just general small things that I like to do to lift my mood and make me feel more content, more happy. So that is all I have for today. Thank you.